This a perfect setting for a spine-tingling ghost story. Well, strangely enough, this is a ghost story. Do you scare easily? Do you have nightmares? Do shadows on the wall from you? <laughs> well, relax. This isn't that kind of a story. And just to prove it, go by Lord Seven Sun. Seven Sun for sure. Out of this world. Got my name, you know, because I always, since I was a kid, I consider myself royalty. So that's how I got the Lord. And then seven being one of the, you know, universal numbers representing peace and, you know, everlasting unity. And then the sun, because, one, because I'm the Aries. Two, because the sun brightens everything. You know, everybody want to be outside, want to be in the sun. So that's how I got that. My music is soulful, sweet, something that you can listen to, you know, while you rolling something up, sitting back chilling with your girl, riding in the car. It's more of a summertime feel to it, something that you know you can just tune it into and relax to. First experience with music was always in the car. Like I be on the way to school, I just in the car with my mom, and she be listening to Marvin Gaye all the time. Something old school like that, cause she was born in like the 50s. So she'd always have something soulful, some James Brown pan or something like that. And then I'd be in the car with my pops. You know, he grew up in like the 80s type, so he'd always be listening to breakdance music or some hardcore hip hop. And that was my real first experience with music right there. As a child, I remember most of uh, Michael Jackson, Human Nature. It seemed like whenever that song came on, I was about to end up at school. So I used to hate it when I was little because I used to, used to hate going to school. I'd rather be at home chilling and hanging out with my friends. But as I grew older, I started to like it more and more. Well, keep a good team around me. Fly Guy Fly, FGF for short. I mean, we've been starving since the beginning, since about 08. You know, it's just all about staying positive and looking forward, knowing that these hard times ain't gonna last. So that's how I keep a level head. If I had to change something, I put more conscious hip hop into it. Like, you know, the old school, like Tribe Called Quest, Wu-Tang, I'd add more that type of depth into the music because nowadays you know rappers be rapping but they ain't really talking about anything so that's what I changed. Just making music that uh that'll change the world, something that'll change somebody's perspective, you know, something that uh, somebody could listen to. You know, you could be feeling bad, but just hearing my music, hearing my songs, it just make you feel good, brighten up your whole day. So my drive is really the people, reaching the people, touching the people, making them feel good. Shame on a nigga who try to run game on a nigga who what went you up. See you, mommy.